How do I start this video is the question that I ask myself because there are lots of things uh, going on with the theme and subject that I'm musing on. And the idea is the center. Um, we have finished the video series of the Tao Te Ching and many of the Tao's describe this thing called the center. What is the center? And uh, why is it so important to Lao Tzu? Why is it such a central figure, monumental part of the Tao Te Ching, of the manual on the art of mastering the art of living? What is the center? Well, I've been having some very interesting thoughts about it lately, at least I think so. I've been having some pretty intense meditations as well lately. I don't know if you guys have been sensing um, major shiftings in the Earth's vibration, the Earth's pulsation. See, we have a heartbeat. Humans have a heartbeat. Ba bump, ba bump. See, just as humans have a heartbeat, the Earth also has a heartbeat. The Earth has a wom, 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 and it's a, a pulsation of vibration, just like our heartbeat is a pulsation and a vibration. <clears throat> and uh, ha have you been sensing a change in the Earth's WOM? Uh, perhaps it's been getting uh, more pure and uh, high and less low and dense and more free. Um, some people have even been speculating that we've moved, we've shifted like a realm from 3D to 4D to 5D, whatever that stuff means perfect harmony um if all this is true all, all i can say is that i have been sensing shiftings in the earth's uh wombs. um and you can do this by uh by putting your feet to the ground your bare feet to the ground um it's called grounding it's called earthing and um what it does is that uh when you put your feet to the ground your feet your heartbeat gets in tune with the earth's heartbeat and what does the Tao say? It says that um, there are four great powers. The, uh, uh, the Tao is great, the universe is great, earth is great, and man is great. It says man follows the earth, the earth follows the universe, the universe follows the Tao, the Tao follows only itself. So man is to follow the earth according to Tao. Man is really, uh, according to the Tao, to, to become nature, to become like the seasons. To become um, like the rain when it rains, it only rains when the wind blows. There is only wind. Just be engaged in what you're doing. Anyway, getting back to the center. <clears throat> For a long time, I've been thinking that the center is the center of your heart, which is the magnetic center of the body. The heart is unquestionably the center. But what I have been thinking about recently is I've been watching some um, commentary on the pineal gland, which is your third eye. It's uh, right in between your two eyeballs. And um, uh, people speculate that that's where the spirit, um, the Holy Spirit enters into the body. They speculate that that's where... Uh, um, God speaks to the believers. That's where uh, we receive our revelation is through the pineal gland uh, right in between our eyeballs um, and a little up like the center of our head. So I've I've heard people musing that that is the center, right? That uh, Lao Tzu is talking about. Not the heart, but the uh, center of the forehead rather is the center. But guys, and and so I've been kind of going back and forth. But if I had to say, I, I, I still think it would be the heart. But during my meditations recently, I have also been musing, what if the belly is the center? Because the Bible says that uh, rivers of living water will flow from your belly. Um, it says that the spirit um, will interact with you through your belly. So, from all these accountings, all these people's musings, all these philosophical ideas, like, 
So the pineal gland in the center of your eyeball, like it, or in the center of your forehead, between your eyeballs, that could be your center. Uh, the center of your heart, where Jesus lives, where grace is, uh, makes a home, and, and where you understand grace in your body and in your being. The center of your heart, the magnetic center of your body, is your center. And also the belly, uh, your stomach, is the center. Um, and I, mostly I reside in my heart center, um, or by the grace of God, I reside in my heart center and I try to re remain there by the grace of God. But lately guys, I've been musing upon what if the center is all three of these centers simultaneously? What if the center is being at the center of your pineal gland in the center of your forehead? at the center of your heart where Jesus abides and makes a home inside of your being and where grace uh, is found in your being and the center of your belly, the stomach, where rivers of living water will flow from. What if being at the center is being at the center of all three of these simultaneously? And so, with that thought in mind, with that musing in mind, uh, I have been dwelling, attempting to dwell by the grace of God. And I believe succeeding, um, dwelling uh, serenely in the center of all three simultaneously. And while doing this, uh, guys, I'm, I'm reminded of the, the, the Trinitarian principle, the three-fold principle. Lao Tzu brings it up a lot. Well, not a lot, at least a few times. Um, he says, uh, something about three. It, gosh, why can't I bring it up? Anyway, um, the, the reason I bring up the number three and uh, the Trinitarian idea is because um, in the Christian faith, God is a three person God, a three being God. It's the God the Father, God the Spirit, and God the Son, Jesus Christ. Um, in the body, you are the body, um, you are the spirit, and you are the soul. Um, in your freaking body, people are musing that you got your pineal gland, your heart, and then your belly. It seems like this, this, uh, this, this theme of three is... It's, it's coming, and Lao Tzu even doubles down on it. I, I know that the book of Ecclesiastes says a, a cord of three strands is not easily broken. Um, if one man lies down, he cannot keep warm, but if two lie down together, they can keep warm. And then it says a cord of three strands is not easily broken. Um, the reference to... Uh, the three that I'm thinking of in the Tao, maybe I'll leave in the comments after this video, it's, it's escaping me. But anyway, is the center actually three centers? Or is it unquestionably just the heart center? Uh, unquestionably, it is the heart center, absolutely. Definitely. That is the answer to that. Is it the heart center? The answer is yes. But is it also the mind, the pineal gland, right in between your eyeballs, in the center of your forehead? Is that also the center? And is the belly, the stomach, also the center? And can we, should we, are we to reside in all three harmoniously? Body, spirit, soul. Pineal, heart, stomach. Mind, heart, belly. Anyway, I don't know if this is the actual case, but I have been experimenting with, with um, dwelling, um, abiding in all three simultaneously. And uh, I don't know, you guys. It's just, it's just a natural progression. Um, what do you think? 
leave me um, your thoughts in the comments. And uh, do you think that the uh, center is only the heart, uh, the magnetic center of the body? Or is it three centers? Is the center actually three centers? And I mean, honestly, could we even get deeper um, with the seven chakras? Like, all, is the center being a, a dwelling in all of the seven chakras in perfect harmonious balance? Perhaps that's the answer. But uh, what do you think, guys? Um, hmm. It's bittersweet uh, being done with the Tao series because I loved it so much. Uh, I love it so much. Uh, I recently listened to the entire Tao Te Ching again. And um, I plan on, and you know, I believe I will continue gleaning from its wisdom my whole entire life. Um, you and I are all potentially the master. The master is potentially us. It's all about love, you guys. I love you all, and um, I'll see you guys on the next vid. Okay, bye.